1736, George Frederick Handel's Alexander's Feast premieres. In 1956, this song, In the Still of the Night, is recorded in the basement of St. Bernadette Church in New Haven, Connecticut by the Five Satins. In 1958, Carl Perkins leaves Sun Records for Columbia Records as their first rockabilly artist. 1964, Simon and Garfunkel record The Sound of Silence, which is later overdubbed with electric instruments by producer Tom Wilson. This version is released as a single and shoots to number one in America. 1966, this song hits number one. It's Lou Christie and Lightning Strikes. 1967, the number one is The Buckinghams and Kind of a Drag. 1972, Sammy Davis Jr. appears on the TV show All in the Family in an episode where he famously plants a kiss on Archie Bunker. 1973, Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree single is released by Don featuring Tony Orlando. 1974, First American Music Awards, Dick Clark's answer to the Grammys. In 1977, Natalie Cole wins the Best R&B Female Vocal Performance Grammy for Sophisticated Lady. Barry Manilow wins Song of the Year for I Write the Songs. 1981, Phil Collins releases his debut solo album, Face Value. 1985, Mick Jagger releases his first solo album, She's the Boss. 1995, Roxette becomes the second Western pop act to play a public concert in China when they perform in a Beijing celebration of the Chinese New Year. 1995, Baywatch's Pamela Anderson marries Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee. In 2000, the number one song is Mariah Carey featuring Joe and 98 Degrees, Thank God I Found You.